Vito has actually been working with infectious diseases of domestic animals and particularly food producing animals since 1975. Disease situations are always changing. As we change our management system, as the industry evolves, um, new diseases emerge. And so we're listening to producers, um, what are their challenges in disease control? What are their challenges in managing current disease problems? How can we manage those better? We're currently working on the pink eye vaccine the information is the current vaccines are not effective and we realize that this is a devastating disease. That's why we actually started this project about four years ago, uh, collaborating with other people in the area such as Dr. Eugene Jansen. We were requested to visit ranches in the Porcupine Hills and look at an outbreak of pink eye. It is an infection of the cornea that usually takes place with a couple of organisms. Those pathogens are usually part of the microbiome of the respiratory tract. But under certain conditions, they cause sporadic or outbreak illness in some of these herds in the hills and elsewhere. What makes it especially bad is these affected animals are unable to see. When they can't see, that probably affects their intake and they tend to lose weight over time. If you see these animals, you appreciate that it is a seriously unsound welfare. That makes it necessary to be treated one way or the other. Producers can spend an awful lot of time dealing with this disease in an outbreak situation. If you, if you just treat them individually, it's very difficult to keep up. If you have an outbreak, you want to vaccinate that moment. And if you vaccinate with the vaccines that are already in the market, it won't help you. Because until the immune response is built and you have antibodies, you will have a very big outbreak. What we're trying to do is that come up with a vaccine that's first is easy to administer. Second is that it's capable to induce an immune response fast enough that it will stop the outbreak. So Moraxella is a bacteria that needs to attach to the eye. What we're thinking is that if we accelerate or we develop enough antibodies that are capable to neutralize the bacteria, then the disease, you know, there will be no, no harm to the eye. By itself, the bacteria cannot cause any damage. It actually needs environmental factors that disrupt the tear film that protects the eye to cause damage. Could be wind, dust, flies, uh, co-infection with BHB1, tall grass, extreme uh, UV light, anything that can disrupt that uh, protective layer, that will help the bacteria to attach and colonize the eye and damage the, the tissue. When these environmental factors allow bacteria to disrupt the protective layers of the tear film, toxins begin to damage the cornea and the effects can range from discomfort to complete loss of vision in that eye. Vaccine-induced antibodies are able to block bacteria from colonizing on the surface of the eye and avoid damage to the cornea by neutralizing the toxins. Some of the factors associated with an outbreak would be concentration of animals and whether they're concentrated by uh, seeking out shade, uh, whether they're concentrated because there's a bloom of insects and they struggle to manage those insects and crowd, or even if we gather them and hold them in a crowd to treat them. That crowding then spreads a disease. So producers are aware of that, especially when they're spending a lot of time treating individuals. And so they often opt to treat the entire group. Each animal may have different levels of a pre-existing immunity. And 
antibody or immunity in the eye raises the threshold of disease protection or the barrier to bacterial attachment. And it may depend on each animal where that barrier is when they become infected. With a vaccine, what we would try to do is raise that barrier, the threshold of resistance by having more antibody so fewer animals would get infected or develop the disease. So that's really with the vaccine, we're raising the barrier or enhancing the level of protection. My goal is to create a vaccine that is capable to accelerate the immune response in the eye and maintain that immune response. And also this immune response has to be created around the first and the second week after vaccination before you know this animal go into pasture. And this vaccine has to be effective with only one dose. If we talk about improvement, uh, will be first the way we administer the vaccine. We're currently working with Dr. Suresh Tico with a novel vaccine delivery system that will be um, delivered as a drop in the eye. So right now we're testing safety and also if they are an immune response or antibodies uh, in tears in young calves. So basically what I do is I collect tears using a cotton swab. Okay, so I put a cotton swab right here and I close the eye so it doesn't disturb the tear film at all. Another thing that we have seen with my studies is that I also collect tears, uh, nasal secretions of blood from, from newborns, two months old, and yearlings. And what we notice is that uh, newborn calves, there's a lack of immune response towards uh, Moraxella. And two months old, that immune response increased by a little. While they're yearlings, the immune response is just very high. There are herds that have repeated problems year after year. And then there's herds who have never had a problem for 20 years and suddenly, boom, they've got a massive outbreak of pink eye. And so there's two very different scenarios. The vaccine for the herds that have recurrent problems each year, they could vaccinate before the calves go out to pasture. They could do preventative vaccination prior to calf turnout. We also think our vaccine, by delivering it to the eye, inducing local immunity quickly, is something that a vaccine that could be used in the face of an outbreak. So a herd suddenly ha that has never had a history of pink eye suddenly has a large outbreak, and um, they can bring all those animals in, go through and vaccinate. They may not prevent the infection in the right eye that already has inflammation and damage, but by vaccinating the other eye, they can protect the, the healthy eye. In the end, what we want are very healthy animals. If we can actually develop vaccines that give producers a very effective tool to minimize or manage their disease risk, to me, it's very exciting.